Thank you. Well, I apologise. I'm sorry to the member. I made that mistake the other day when I called Andrew Little, Andrew Williams, Andrew Williams. That's right. You have the floor. Thank you very much, Mr Chairman. I take a call on behalf of New Zealand First and the Est Estimates Bill in regards to the finance debate. Mr Chairman, it is most disappointing as a New Zealander uh, to have to look at the figures that this government puts up because much of it is a litany of lies. And the reason I say that, the reason I say that, Mr Chair, is because New Zealanders have been robbed for the last five years of government contributions to the New Zealand Superannuation Fund. This national government has not contributed one cent to New Zealanders' superannuation fund for the last five years, and this budget and the estimates going forward also do not provide for any contributions for the next five years. So a whole decade under this government, New Zealanders are being robbed of their future retirement fund. That retirement fund to the year ended 31st of May 2014 is currently worth $26.14 billion. The average return of the fund since its exception, uh, inception uh, under Dr Cullen when he was finance minister has averaged 9.74%. The last 12 months the fund has returned 17.2% return to the fund after costs. And in the last five years, the New Zealand Superannuation Fund has returned 16.8% average over the five years. These are incredible figures. And in the one month alone of May 2014, when the Finance Minister was issuing his budget, uh, in the one month the fund made 2.57% return for the one month. And yet the Minister of Finance tells us that it is poor fiscal uh, management to borrow any money to put into the New Zealand superannuation funds. It's when the government can borrow funds in the order of 3 or 4 per cent per annum, and when a fund is returning 17.2 per cent in the last year, basically this government is robbing the people of New Zealand in order to falsify the books and make sure that the budget looks OK. And at the same time, during that same period, when they sold the state-owned assets, they promised the people of New Zealand that they would get between five and seven billion dollars for those assets. That's, that's what they sold the promise on. And they ended up with a miserable four and a half billion dollars from the sales, some two to two and a half billion less than what they promised the people of New Zealand. And they said that they originally that they would use it to pay down debt. But what did they do? In the meantime, the debt carried on mounting. They took on a debt five years ago, six years ago, when they became, left the opposition bench and became government, of about $6 billion. That has now, quadru that has now gone up tenfold to $60 billion under this national government. And at the same time, that $4.5 billion, they said, oh, we will put this into new, new projects, such as 21st century schools. We'll put it into 21st century schools. But what are they actually doing? They're putting the money into fixing leaky schools leaky school buildings, hundreds and hundreds, over, three, over 300 leaky school buildings around New Zealand. That's where the money's going to, again, make up for an error of the national government from the 1990s uh, when they allowed uh, uh, the leaky building program to, uh, to get underway. At the same time, where's the rest of the money gone? From the five to seven, uh, from the $4.5 billion. Well, $120 million went to the share brokers who, who um, sold the shares in the first place. So this whole budget that has come out and these estimates showing that they've got a $372 million surplus and how wonderful they're doing as, as managers of the economy and $120-odd million in the last year has just gone to the share brokers, the friends of Mr Key, the friends of Mr English, just to sell the shares. At the same time, another $40 million went to pay for free bonus shares for those who bought into the, sh into the, uh, into the uh, state assets. Isn't that incredible? You get, they give away another $40 million to the 2.5% of New Zealanders <coughs> who bought into the shares. So previously they were 100% owned by you, me, everybody else in this room and everybody else around this country and now 2.5% of New Zealanders own those shares and $40 million was, is given to them to help pay for free bonus shares in the coming year. 
And at the same time, another $100 million went into shoring up the stricken solid energy. Another state-owned enterprise. Another $100 million. So most of these figures, Mr. Mr Chair, are just absolute nonsense. This is an absolute smokes and mirrors budget. The estimates going forward are absolute hogwash. This government, this government makes out that it's, that it's running a surplus, <clears throat> but in actual fact, if the media were to jolly well do some proper research, some, some proper investigative research, and show how they're not putting any money into the superannuation fund, how most of the money's... I call Paul Goldsmith. Mr. Chairman. Well, we've certainly seen a, a vision of...